Unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. Hey everybody, this is Katie. And this is Lonnie. And you're listening to Two Artsy Gals. Yay! Yay! God, I wonder if like my neighbors think I'm insane when they hear me because <laughs> it's hot. It's so fucking hot in Portland mm-hmm. this week, and mm-hmm. our, na- our my windows are open. Mm. So, hi neighbors, <laughs> hi neighbors. My cat already like is creeper town looking in their apartment all the time. <laughs> she sits and looks like nice. She's, well, they have cats over there too, so she sits in the window so it switches her tail back and forth violently <laughs> like how She's dare those cats exist in my them. world yes totally she is what are we gonna talk about this time we're talking about tape Ooh, all kinds oh, of tape i like tape i love tape we're talking about tape. tape we're gonna talk about boring tapes first because okay. you know i know Function. so there's like scotch tape <laughs> but scotch tape i use regularly yes me too to like I use it to hold stuff in place. Yes. Because it doesn't, it's not like super sticky. Mm-hmm. It won't ruin your shit. So if I, I use to tack things down oh, yeah, a lot. Yeah. Um, especially if I want to see through. Like yes. if I need to see what I'm doing around it, I'll use it to tack something in place when I'm trying to place stuff or do a layout. I did learn an awesome trick at my tattoo place though a while ago. What? It's been a couple of years ago. I used to have this wallet that it was impossible to get my ID out of. Yeah. And like I would have to dig around. I would hold up the lines. And if once a year, my tattoo place has to photocopy a new copy of. I think it's maybe if you haven't been in the last six months. Anyway, they need a new copy of your ID. And the girl working there said, let me show you this trick. After I struggled to get, get we had to get forceps out of the piercing room to get my fucking ID out of my wallet. Whoa. She said, first of all, you need a new wallet. But yeah. check this out. And she put a little scotch tape tab on my ID. So she taped it on <laughs> there. And then I could just slide it in and out of my wallet with no problems. That is brilliant. I have passed that little tidbit of information along I do not know how many fucking times. Andy would just remind me that I was going to tell Scott about that. And I totally forgot. Yes, you'll have to tell him about that. There's two things I need to remember. I need to take notes. You do need to take notes. Gosh. I hate that when I forget stuff. <laughs> Okay, and then there's like you know your masking tapes. Mm-hmm. I use masking tape all the fucking time. Yes, in my artwork, especially if I'm doing like if I'm working in pastels, chalk pastels, or anything like that. I mask off the area that I want to draw on on the paper, and it leaves a nice crisp line. And then the chalk dust doesn't get outside of that line. Yeah. I also mask off when I'm doing paintings on paper. I mask them off. I use masking tape to tape down my blotters on my desk. It's a very great utilitarian sort of... It's yeah. a working tape. Yeah, it you, is. We do jobs with it. I have it. a friend that does paintings with, you know, using mat layers, masking tape, and paint, and yeah, to make shapes and things. That's and, awesome. Yeah. We make all kinds of crazy, like, geometric shapes and stuff. Yeah. So, and then there's packing tape, which is not as boring as it sounds. It can't, yeah. Because you could do all kinds of packing, you know, like you pack your packages with it. You tape mm-hmm. your packages shut, you mail them. You can also do packing tape transfers and use them in your mixed media artwork. And they're fucking awesome. Okay. So what you do is you take your piece of clear packing tape and say you found a picture of someone's head or, uh-huh. or even text or like pictures of, I don't know. In a magazine, a bird that you want to include in your artwork, you would put your packing tape down over that picture. Is that packing tape? Yeah. Holy moly. So you put your packing tape down over the picture you want, and I use my brayer just to make sure, like my rubber brayer, I roll on it just to make sure that I'm getting all the air bubbles out because you don't want any air bubbles in it. 
So you want to be very careful when you lay it down not to get any bubbles or wrinkles in the tape. And then use your brayer or use the back of a wooden spoon. I have a wooden spoon that I use specifically just for braying stuff in my office. Just rub it over there and get a very good adhesion to the picture. Mm -hmm. And then some people use a squirt bottle to spray it. Some people dip it. I tend to dip it in just dip the piece of tape with the picture that's now on it in water. Mm -hmm. Get it nice and wet, and then you gently, with your finger, rub until you roll the paper of the picture off of the back of the tape. And then what you're left with is a transparent image on this piece of tape that you can then use, like, Mod Podge or a substance like that and glue it into your mixed media artwork. You can also glue it onto, um, on our Pinterest board, I found... A really neat example of people doing that with tea light candle holders. And they did oh, like yeah, little yeah. skulls and, and, and spiders and stuff on them. So what was that? <laughs> Putting on the brakes. Somebody needs their brakes fixed. Yep. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm surprised They're I like, can... stop the presses. What? I can put a spider <laughs> on my <laughs> Oh my god, that's totally what it was like. <laughs> transfers. <laughs> Shit, you lady. <laughs> oh my god. I swear we have done no drinking or drugs today. It is so hot up here, though. I'm starting to get dumb in the head. Ah, me too. <laughs> so there you have your boring tapes and semi-boring tapes. Move Not on. boring, though. Completely awesome. Yes. Then we're going to move on to some fucking duct tape. Ooh, that's good stuff. And I'm going to say, because I'm an a-hole and it bothers me, and I have to say this, that duct tape, D-U-C-T, tape is a thing. Yes. Duct tape, D-U-C-K, is a brand of duct tape. Right. So, although people widely just call duct tape duct tape. They do. It's a brand. It's just something that bothers me. Yeah. I just had to get it out there. Because I'm usually sure when the I ducks say... ducks have feelings about it, too. I know. When I say <laughs> ducks tape, people look at me like I'm dumb. I I've mean, actually had someone go, you mean duck tape? I know. I'm like, no, I mean duck tape, I'm pretty you sure dumb it was shit. invented for duck work. It's like holding duck, duck work together, sealing duck your, work. Yeah, you don't want your AC leaking out and you want it to go... Exactly. Right. Something. So, it's okay <laughs> to call... I mean, I don't know. Yeah, because it, it, it duct tape, then it doesn't, it it's not a brand. Easy, it's just a, you know. People can just be real cheeky bastards about it. Really, I don't care what you call it as long as you don't tell me I'm wrong when I call it duct tape. Right, duct yeah. Tape. No, I but would never do that. That being said, duct tape, the brand, is the one that has all the badass duct tape. Yeah. Like, they have holy fucking shit. I didn't even know. So when Lonnie and I, we had to do a run to Joanne's before we recorded the first version of this yes. episode. We went to get washi tape, which we'll get to in a moment. But we walked past the duct tape. And I did not fucking know that you could get that many different kinds. I know. Like, it's out of control. It is days. out of control. Like, I got this really cool punk rock duct tape that I let Lonnie use yes, when she made her you. shrine. It was perfect. We tape. It you was did. perfect, though. It's perfect for the outside, yes. And we're going to show that yep. in on our website in the show notes. We're going to have pictures of the outside of the shrines we made for last week's pocket shrine episode that we decorated with duct tape. Yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome. And shoot, they have, okay, <sighs> they have sparkly fucking duct tape. And I'm really losing my breath here when I get to, I'm that <laughs> excited about it. Like, it's so pretty. Glittery. Yes. Sparkly. Oh, I had to leave. We had to leave the store because I had a budget. I have to budget myself when I go into Joanne's. And the sparkly duct tapes were definitely have fucked up my budget. Yeah. So I had to leave. I had to walk away. I fucking walked away from glittery tape. It was physically yeah. painful. I know. I bought that one and I couldn't help it. That I know. washi tape. That, cause yeah, it, but that it was just... a little bit less expensive than the duct tape. Because, come on. I just remembered that last time I wanted to talk about this duct tape artist. Oh yeah, you told me about her. Oh and my gosh, I'm going to have to pin this. 
to our thing. Yeah, um, put to our board. What's her name? Mona Superhero. Mona Superhero, and she's a Portland artist, right? Yes. Did you say? Yep. And she has an Etsy, and she does really cool stuff by cutting out pieces of duct tape and applying them to a canvas. So using it kind of like a collage or... Um, we will be posting a link to her website and her Etsy because yeah. you guys got to see this shit. It's really, really cool. It's really, 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 really cool. And apparently that's all she definitely. has super, super affordable prints of her stuff. I'm seeing prints for $10, $16. I mean, um, awesome. geez. Yeah. Wow. The possibilities are endless with duct tape. Really? Like we pin, there's a bunch of shit on our Pinterest board. Like, of course you get like the prom dresses and the tuxedos that people make out of duct tape. Sounds uncomfortable to me, but it's uh awesome. It's cool. It looks really neato. But yeah. The coolest thing is like people make people make wallets. Yes. This is the standard. Um purses. Somebody made a TARDIS purse. Put it on our Pinterest board. Yes. I got really fucking excited about the TARDIS purse. It is really cool looking. I wanted to make a TARDIS purse out of duct tape now. Just yeah. Because I saw that. Like, really. I get a little... I can... How many times can I say TARDIS in a sentence? <laughs> I feel like a nerd. I've, like, brought up Doctor Who in more than one episode that we've recorded today. Oh, my God. Uh, look at me. I wiped... What, I wiped... I wiped... Wasabi. You didn't do it! No! I put wasabi almond dust in my eye! Ow! Maybe I should duct tape it. Uh, All right. I'm good. I'm good. But also people make lunch bags. Like, like reusable lunch bags. Yeah. And also, I've seen people actually make little zipper pouches. Like, they... Yes. They're using... They're using duct tape as a fabric, and they're sewing it. And they're sewing zippers into these little pouches that they make, and they're really fucking awesome. And you guys should play with duct tape. A lot. Like, you can use, I've seen journals, like, the outside of journals covered with duct tape. I've seen, this lady's art is insane. Yes, I'm pinning it now, because I don't want to forget. <laughs> Out of control, cool duct tape. So, get some, use the shit up. Remember the stuff with the macaroni and cheese on it? Did you see that? Yes, yes. <laughs> macaroni and cheese duct tape. Who doesn't fucking love some macaroni and cheese? If you yeah. don't like macaroni and cheese, you suck. I'm just yeah. going to say that. The most fun that we had, though, was with washi tape. Yeah. Now, I have avoided the washi tape movement for a while. Like, I just didn't get it. I was like, what the fuck? It's just fucking tape. Why are y'all freaking out about this fucking tape? I right. don't get it. And I think it started out as kind of a scrapbooking thing. And scrapbooking is something that I've kind of avoided yeah. for a while because it's not a cheap hobby. No. At all? I no. think I mentioned I should show you the 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 album that I made oh, for yeah. my husband for Christmas one year. I did this thing because I thought I was going to save money. We were extra broke, and I wanted to make him a nice Christmas gift. So I got together all of his pictures that I could that he's been traveling around in his shoebox, like carrying around in his shoebox, mm -hmm. of his adventures from when he backpacked around Europe and when he lived in London. And his uh, green tortoise trips that he Aww. took to, like, New Orleans and Mexico. And he just has them all shoved in a box. Although, when I went through it, I found fucking naked pictures of his ex-girlfriend. And I was like, why do you still fucking oh, have these? Oh, put that and in your scrapbook. Then he's like, why are you in my picture box? And oh I was like, God. it fell out of the closet and it fell open. And he bought it. <laughs> and he's like, I haven't looked in that box in, like, six years and i'm like well you need to get rid of her boobs because these are your boobs now not <laughs> hers because i didn't like that lady actually i've never met her but i don't like what i hear about her yeah and she's the one that said i had raver scabies oh yeah you told me about that i thought it was rude yeah that you have a dumb face <laughs> whatever burn Shh. <laughs> well, so yeah Anyway, I did the scrapbook, and then I spent like sixty, seventy dollars. By the time I was through oh, easily, the scrapbook huh? embellishment aisle, I was like, "Oh, well, if I'm doing his I London know. page, he needs to have a little big bin, and he needs to have a little like photo booth and double decker bus thing." And like, yeah. I just went through all this stuff. I did 
washi tape wasn't even a thing then. Imagine how much more trouble I would have been in. Yeah. I guess I should explain what the fuck washi tape even is. I haven't done it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know what it was for the longest time. But washi paper is a Japanese paper. It's a really light, thin paper. And washi tape is just basically that paper with... It's paper tape. It's it's adhesive. And so you can get this shit in so many different colors and patterns and styles. Yep. Out of control. Yeah. They're... The options in the craft store, the washi tape aisle, are a little overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Also, though they were only two or three bucks a roll, I could have gone broke in yeah. there buying that shit. Now they also have uh, a lot of, like, Lonnie was saying she got this really crazy, glittery, like, yeah, super cool like- washi tape. And they have glitter washi tapes. I kind of feel like that's probably not traditional washi tape. Yeah. Because they don't feel papery. Yeah. The cool thing about the traditional washi tapes is that you can kind of, they're a little bit transparent. Yeah. Not completely transparent, but they're a little bit transparent. So you can still see, like, writing underneath them sometimes or or whatever you do with them. You can still see a little bit underneath them. I think they're also kind of cool things to throw at kids. Yeah. Like, maybe a little bit older kids, but kids fucking love tape Oh, anyway. my kid loves even just scotch tape. She uses it like crazy. Yeah. It's out of control. Yep. We never had tape. There were some time yeah, me where too. we didn't have tape in our house because my son used it for all kinds of things. <laughs> yes. Like, yo, I just bought scotch tape. What did you do with it? <laughs> He's like, well, uh, I don't know. And I go in his room and he has, like, his stuffed animal's. He made like a mummy, a stuffed animal mummy. My with kid does the same tape. thing. I'm like, fucking dude, you're wasting tape. But yeah, it's cheap shit. It is. Yeah, I know. I finally was like, fine, we'll just get a big thing of it at Costco. Give it to her. Here you go. Take yeah. it. Maybe you'll tape yourself to something, and then I won't yeah. hear you for a while. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's better than giving him a super glue. Yep. Because oh, super yeah. glue is dangerous. <laughs> so. But yeah, the cool thing about. Washi tape is that it's not what, what? Oh, I thought that said Brazilian. I was like, <laughs> uh, a bazillion different styles. I'm not yes. giving my a wash a washi tape Brazilian. <laughs> and you know what? I've been married for almost eleven years. <laughs> like Sunday is our our eleventh wedding anniversary, so it's all seventies these days down there. I ain't fucking shaving that shit off anymore. <laughs> If you married it, you can have a Harry. <laughs> it's just too much fucking work. Yeah. And then when it grows back, you want to scooch around on the carpet oh, yeah, like a it's dog because so your business itches. I don't know how, how, how people do it without getting like, like this really Razor unsightly burn? rash. Yeah. yeah. Like, no. That's not cute. No, it's not mm-hmm. cute at all. I don't it's know how people terrible. do it. It looks like something chewed up your vagina. <laughs> That is not sexy. No. Look, I'm a grown woman. Grown women have hair on their vaginas. Yeah. Get over it. Yeah. What about your fuzzy balls? <laughs> <laughs> Keep your goat balls all shaved up. I don't even know how people shave those. No, I... How did we go from fucking washing to... <laughs> Sorry, I'm Brazi- so Brazilian. Brazilian. Brazilians, all right. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. That was a really yeah. weird sidebar. We apologize. <laughs> but... Here are some of our favorite ideas that we found when researching washi tape. Yes. Because you can fucking cover anything with the shit. Yes. And one thing that I discovered is a lot of people doing, like, uh, do-it-yourself upgrades and decorations to shit in apartments. Because you can't do permanent things in apartments. Mm -hmm. So they're, like, covering their light switch covers. Or Yes. That's so cute. It's really cute. I once got charged because I replaced light plate covers with, like, these cute little collage. I actually think I did collages over the top of them and then put them back on. Yeah. They fucking charged me for new light plate covers when I moved out. Ugh. Probably I'm like, whatever. These are better you than your yeah. dumb ones that you got. Fuck off. Yep. But you can cover, like I said, light plate covers. You can do cool designs on doors. Um, I saw someone do a really cool geometric thing on a wall. I mean, that's yeah. a lot of washi tape. But it's also something that you can just peel off when you move, mm-hmm. and you don't have to worry about it. And actually, it'd probably end up being less expensive than those big decals. I think it probably yeah, would be, because those 
big decals get pretty. Yeah. And probably easier to get off because some of those decals don't come off as easy yeah. as they say that they're going to. Yeah. So, you know, and even they have like temporary wallpapers now that you can get that are pretty fucking expensive. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, meh. Meh. <laughs> like, how much do you really want to spend for a rental? Yeah. That's where I am these days. Yeah. But, yeah, you can do like, and of course, it has its uses in scrapbooking and card making. And I actually use them on um, a few times when we've done some of our mail art projects. Like I like to, like most recently, I we did these origami pop-up boxes. Mm-hmm. And mine wouldn't stay because I used the heavier art paper, like artsy fancy paper on it. It wouldn't stay fucking folded flat oh, like yeah. the prototypes that I did with just regular thin paper. So I use a little bit of washi tape to kind of artfully hold them closed. Like I, oh, nice. I added yeah. some stripes across, across it with some of my washi tape. Um, I've used them for borders, for postcards. And actually, that stuff is pretty sticky. So it also does a really great job of holding things mm-hmm. in what you're doing. Do you think like, it's safe to use to tape like a picture down? I think so. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, and especially because it's for scrapbooking, so most of it's going to be archive, archival yeah. quality. Yeah. So it's not going to f- fuck stuff up. Yeah. That way. Oh, oh, one of my favorite uses I saw for it is like cord organization. Oh. So like you can put little cute tabs on your like if you look under my desk right now, there is a nightmare mess of cords mm-hmm. going from the computer to wherever to whatever device it is. You can label cords so you know which is which. Um, we have the same situation going on behind our TV downstairs because we've yes. got like three game systems and a DVD player and our DVDR and all kinds of shit. And you don't know what's what. Yeah. So you just make a cute little tag to label it so you know what it is. Super simple. Great idea. Best idea mm-hmm. I saw was people <laughs> personalizing <laughs> their iPhone charging cords yes and their chargers because like when we go on vacation with my husband's family so there's my iphone and ipad Mm -hmm. and ipod uh both of my nieces have iphones both of their their parents have iphones and ipads and my they have ipad minis and my mother and father-in-law both have iphones and ipad minis so we get this little war going on where I'm like, that is my fucking charging cord. Get away from it. Because my nieces will steal your charge cord. Oh, yeah. Like, bam, yeah. it's gone. Yeah. So people, I just got to the point where I broke my initial on all of them with a Sharpie. Mm-hmm. But this is a cuter way to do it. Like, we have a couple of examples on the Pinterest board. Yeah. Where they put little cute glitter washi tape on there. Yeah. So they're sparkly. And then also, you wrap it around and it kind of, I think prolongs the life of the charge cord because y'all know yeah. iPhone charge cords are notorious for breaking yeah, open. Yeah, all things. Yeah. And it pisses me off. Me too. I've had but to you can kind of stiffen so that times. up and wrap it up. And the way iPhone is, they, they, see, I love my Apple products. I really do. Yeah. But they're bastards about that kind of stuff. Like, they like their shit proprietary. They yes. want you to have to pay fucking $40 for a new goddamn cord. Yeah. They don't want you to go buy a generic cord. So now they are putting chips in them and yes, stuff. Yes, I saw so that. So you can't yeah. fucking do that. It's such a fucking greedy bastard. Yeah. Like they make enough money off of our shit anyway. Yeah. Look, I couldn't wait to get a cell phone and threw a little tantrum when I decided I finally wanted to step into the center and have a smartphone instead of a dumb phone. <laughs> and I already used my, I- my iPod that I had for everything but making phone calls. So I was very used to that style. So when I picked a phone, I wanted an iPhone because then it wouldn't be weird. Yeah. So I go get it and I just can't wait. I need to have it. I couldn't wait two weeks. I wanted it right then and there. Well, the dumb thing is if I would have waited two weeks, I could have gotten the newest iPhone. Oh man. But now we're on a contract. So now I have to wait. I have another... I'm in a, almost a whole other year before I can get a new phone. So I still have a 4S. Yeah. And I still have the original cord. The goddamn cord's falling apart. I'm amazed, though. And it still works? Yeah. That's amazing. Because I don't want to buy another fucking cord. Yeah. 
I am going to apply washi tape to my cord as soon as we're done here because yes. I keep forgetting to do it. See you all these notes to self. I know. And you were talking we really about should be writing notes down when we do this shit. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. Really, I'm gonna bring a little notebook. We're giving each other ideas all the fucking know. time here. It's awesome. And another thing we talked about last time was making a sticker with it. Okay. Lonnie, you I guys missed this. this. Because Lonnie fucking uh, smacked me in the arm so hard. I'm going to borrow a piece of your paper. Do. Write okay. it down. Okay. Wait, do I have a pen? There's a pen on the floor There's in front one right of here. you. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. Is that okay if I use one of these? Yeah, but you don't want to write with that pen because that's actually green ink and you can't fucking see it. Oh. <laughs> I thought those were just cool colored pens and I bought them and I didn't read the package. Here. Yeah, that one. Okay. So okay. One. Okay. I bought a package of pens that I thought were just cool colored and the ink's actually colored. And it's so pale that you can't read it, the green. One of the coolest things that I saw done with washi tape in our research was sticking layers of, like, stripes down of washi tape on wax paper. Yes. So it's stuck to the wax paper, and then you do your little, like, I think the person probably sketched out what they were doing on the back of the wax paper Mm -hmm. or on the wax paper before they put it down so you could kind of see through it. And then you cut out the design of what you're doing. And then, like, this one said, hello, Lonnie wants to do a unicorn out of her fucking cool purple sparkly. Kurt calls that the seizure tape, by the way. Oh, nice. (laughs) Because it's so, like, it looks like a galaxy. It's so crazy when you look at it. But... And then you can just peel the wax paper off the back and stick it to whatever the fuck you want to stick it to. Mm-hmm. So it's going on the back of my car. You totally have to do that. Yep. Okay, doing that. Do Putting, that. Writing it down. Write it down, and then she'll send you, pictures, and I'll put and it on the blog. You need to do washi tape on your cords. Yes, washi <laughs> tape on my cords. Lonnie is now the two artsy gals <laughs> secretary and co-host. Put yes. her go. And boss, because I put an exclamation point. And she's the boss, and she's <laughs> bossing me around. Another really, really super cute thing that I saw done with it was people were making flowers out of it. Oh, yeah, yes. So, and you could do the flower. I think I've seen the flower pens where they put it on the end of a, yeah. a pen. Are you seen tape? Me? Yeah, I've seen those tape things. You do them with duct tape and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the washi tapes are so... What I like about the washi tape, which is such a weird thing to me to say this... Because I didn't used to be a pastel flowery kind of gal. Oh, but something's changing. Some, well, you know what? I'm not going to lie. When I hit 40, I started getting a little girly. I actually started <laughs> about 38. I started integrating pink into my wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. Which I never wore before. I actively avoided pink before. Yeah. Now I kind of like it. And then I even had pink stripes in my hair for a while, but I changed to blue. I, I, like, I like the blue better. The blue makes me look like a superhero. Yeah. Or supervillain. Depending, <laughs> depending on my mood. But, yeah, you can do this cute little flowers anyway, and you can put them in your mixed media work, too. Oh, what I was getting at was, like, I feel like the washi tape lends itself better because of its semi-transparency yes. to the lighter, softer colors. Yeah. And maybe, whereas, like, duct tape is always, like, super bold. Yeah. Fluorescent, yeah. bright, and, and shiny. harsh. You know, it creates kind of sharp angles, like, when you're making a flower. But I bet the washi tape... The washi tape is a little bit softer. softer. I think Pretty. Yeah. Now I want to see... I wonder... I bet, are there any on our Pinterest? Yes, we have a bunch of examples on our Pinterest board. Even people using, like, just the plain little tea lights that you buy at the, ah, at the craft store... If you want to have them party. out, but you don't want to be, be out the expense of buying holders, you can just wrap washi tape around the outside yeah. of them. It looks super cute. Or if you were doing a theme party, you could have them kind of match your little theme mm-hmm. or whatever. Oh, and beads. Oh, People yeah, making beads, beads out of stuff. I think Lonnie and I are going to do... Wait a minute. Let me look. Um, yeah, our next episode is bead making. Oh, Let's cool. make some tape beads, too. Yeah, okay. So, we'll do some tape beads and kind of really just be a carryover. I'm looking on our Pinterest while we're talking. We've got to break ourselves from doing this shit. But look, there's the TARDIS purse. That's really You amazing. guys totally have to go. We'll link the, the Pinterest again. Is it, are those that. tape flowers? Yes. No. Okay. No, those oh, they flowers. decorated the they de- vase. They decorated the flower vases with them. There. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, that's adorable. Cute little tape flowers. Oh, Y'all they're really look it up cute. There. Yeah, that would look cute on the... 
anything. On the, yeah. You can even put it on a barrette. And yeah, wear no, it I was thinking around your jacket like a brooch. No, it's I don't tend cute. to wear a lot of barrettes because I have curly hair and it's crazy hair and it eats barrettes. <laughs> I can't imagine what it would do to a tape barrette. That's amazing. It would be like, nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, that's the sticker thing. Wow. So, yeah. Tape, everybody. Yeah. Tape is important. It's fun. It's it's fun. It's always been fun. It always will be fun. Mm-hmm. And you can do cool shit with it. Oh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, and I'm doing this. I will, oh, I don't think I have the, I don't have duct tape that I want to do it with right now. But I'm going to go get some, and hopefully before this episode airs, I can do it. These Cute. people are upgrading their shoe, like flats, with duct tape. Like, zhuzhing them up a bit. Yeah. So, I want to do that because I have a pair of flats, my favorite fucking flats ever. I've had them for so long. I got them at Payless Shoes, like, probably six or seven years ago. Wow. And they're splitting up. They're, like, tearing in the back. And I had to, I just had to suck it up and get a new pair of black flats. Mm -hmm. But I still love the way those flats feel. And I love the way they look. They have these cute little straps on them. Yeah. So, I think that I'm going to, I'm going to decorate them up with some fancy, (gasps) oh, Maybe glitter. Oh. Glitter duct tape. Yeah. Although I have, like, I already have, like, four or five pairs of glittery shoes, but my husband makes fun of me like that, because I have my glittery chucks. They're so cute. And I have some glittery Uggs. Yeah. I have a pair of silver glittery flats. Aw. And I have another pair of silver glittery, like, girl converse that I actually don't like, but they just don't fit me well. But anyway, there are, you can do all kinds of cool shit with tape. Yeah. That's what we're getting at here. Yeah. Not only can you do it, you should do it. Do it. Do it. This episode is going to be going up probably now because we're off sync because we had to have no episode last week. Mm-hmm. It'll probably be the first episode of July. Okay. Happy Fourth of July weekend, everybody, oh, yeah. by the way. If you're, uh, because let me see. Let me look at the calendar really Washi quick. Wash tape those fireworks. Wash you tape some. Dude. Okay. I can't. <laughs> I can't be giving out fucking firework advice because I get in trouble. Pyrotechnics, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, this will go up July 1st. So, have a safe 4th of July weekend this weekend. Yeah. Maybe if you blow your fingers off, you can washi tape them. Yeah. Make them look pretty. Make some washi tape fingers. Make make some washi tape fingers. Yeah. Yeah, Do that. (laughs) Make a washi tape eye patch. (laughs) Yes. You you bottle rock in your eyeball. That's true. The ones you get from the doctor's office. So ugly. So ugly. Decorate them up. Yeah. Yep. Decorate your eye patch, you know. <laughs> Cover your bandages with washi tape and make them look pretty. What we're saying is don't blow yourself up. Yeah, just be safe. Oh, God damn it. I forgot to mention this tape again. Oh, and I got tape. it out and set in front of us. Foiled again. Oh, foiled <laughs> again with the foil tape. All right. We're just going to have to talk about the foil tape another time. And I don't know. You can use aluminum foil tape for all kinds of cool shit. And you can emboss it. And I learned it from my friend Jen, who I did uh, an altered book swap with. And I'll do an example for the blog specifically before this episode goes up. So, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. It's very cool. And you should use them. And it also comes in different colors because you can get like silver foil tape, but I also saw some copper that I wanted. Oh, yeah. That I didn't get. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, now we're done talking about tape. Okay. And, okay, so if by now, the reason I was saying, so this is, this episode is a little bit more than a month out. It's four weeks out. So maybe we're already at 200 Facebook likes now. I don't know. Hopefully we are. Yeah. Hopefully. And we already did our thing. And, and we, we already did our John Yeah. But we are having a giveaway. So when we get to 400 likes on the Facebooks, or no, wait, did I, I upped that by two. When we get to 200 <laughs> well, likes. We could do another one at 400. Yeah, we See, could do we've already one. done our 200 by this episode. Yeah. We could do another 200. So, yeah. When we get to 200 likes, we're going to do a drawing and give away a collaborative mixed media, media artwork that Lonnie and I are going to do for you. The dog is being a total dick barking in the other room. Mm-hmm. He's been so good today, though. He really. has been. We are running late, though. We gotta hurry. Oh, yeah. We gotta get you out of here so she can pick her kid up from school. Ugh. But anyway, so <laughs> the only thing you need to do for that drawing is to go like us on Facebook. So if you already like us on Facebook, you will already be in the drawing. And if you don't like us on Facebook, go like us on Facebook so you can be in the drawing. And yeah. then tell all your friends. Yep. So all your friends can be in the drawing. And then maybe they'll discover our podcast and think that we're awesome. Mm -hmm. Because that would be great. So if you have any awesome comments or ideas 
or cool tape stories to tell us, then you should either email us at twoartsygals at gmail.com or call us on our voicemail line, which is 503-395-7190 and leave us a cool message and we'll play it on the show. Yeah. And if you don't want us to, if you don't want it played on the show, tell us. But otherwise, we're going to put your voice on there. Sing us a song about tape. Yeah. Call and sing us a song about tape. I would love that so much. I would too. Oh my gosh. It would be great. Yeah. And so you can follow us on all the social media things. We're, of course, on Pinterest, and I will post a link to this board uh, in the blog for this episode, in the show notes. Um, We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Is that everything we do? I don't know. I don't know. We do so many things. Go to twoartsygals.com, and then you can find little links that will take you to all of our social media pages. And also, you can just look for us for Two Artsy Gals on all of them. So you can go there. So yeah, next week, we're going to be talking about bead making. Me and Lonnie are going to make some beads for you guys, and you're going to love them. They're going to be rad. We're going to show you all kinds of cool stuff. And so until then, make some cool shit, yo! Yo, do it now!